Hi, everybody. It's a pleasure to just make a couple comments about camp management and camp coordination in terms of the 2005 tsunami response. Uh, more than 15 years ago, I was brought to Sri Lanka to lead, uh, be a lead trainer and project coordinator for the Norwegian Refugee Council um, on an eco-funded project. It was called the Site Management Training Project. My uh, focus was North, Northeastern Sri Lanka, IDP camps and after following the tsunami. And this was pre-cluster officially. Um, and so a couple of uh, realizations I think from contribution to the sector is that uh, 2005 was definitely a time of enforcing and understanding and the importance of training. Uh, it, for camp management and later combining this with cluster coordination. And in 2005, it was a focus on training the national authorities, non-state actors, and in this situation was the LTTE, but also host community members, IDPs, UN agencies, and INGOs working in the response. So this was a fundamental and seminal moment, I believe, for CC, CM, and training components. Another uh, part of the response for the tsunami was understanding that camps would stay open for quite some time. And it really en enlightened the need for care and maintenance and that phase of the camp or site life cycle. So it was looking at also how to mobilize community participation and to give tools and open up space for empowerment for IDPs to work with host communities and to look at ways in which they could engage in the own care and maintenance of their own sites or camps. I think this was a seminal moment as well in the, in the sector for exactly this. And then lastly was definitely opening up the accountability discussion and technical practice around community practice and community participation. And that also highlighted the relationship between IDPs in a, in a site or a camp and their relationship um, and need for interaction with a host community. IDPs don't live uh, independently or separate from the communities that they are surrounded by. And I think this is an area of awareness as well as response that has grown in maturity and understanding in the last 15 years. But the tsunami response really highlighted that even if uh, IDPs were in camps or sites, that surrounding communities also suffered the impact of the tsunami and it wasn't to look at these uh, these different communities in isolation. Lastly, also understanding the intersection between uh, the tsunami and the ongoing conflict and that conflict IDPs and those that are displaced due to climate change events also uh, face similar needs and also access to rights and protection under national law as well as international frameworks. And I think the tsunami also highlighted the complexities between the ongoing or the failing ceasefire that happened in and around the tsunami response. So enjoy your retreat. Uh, lots of innovation and discussion still to happen in this sector. And uh, keep, keep doing the work that you do. The world is complex and CCM, uh, unfortunately, is still very needed. Thank you.